good morning to everyone in this video we are going to discuss about routing information protocol routing information protocol for uh, uh, by, uh, for considering its uh, implementation of uh, uh, dynamic uh, distance mechanism here the, the important metric that has been taken in for routing packets uh, uh, is nothing but so hop count here the hop count is nothing but so if uh, uh, a source and destination and if two systems are connected with uh, two possible ways and one system one path is having five hop count and another path is having 10 hop count then it is the five hop count we all know that hop count is nothing but the link that exists between two devices one one link right so let's assume source and destination connected through two possible ways one possible way uh, with the hop count number of five another 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 way with the hop count number of 10 so mission protocol will take this hop count as a metric according to the least number of hop counts uh, available in the possible base so this is what the routing information protocol it is a oldest protocol and uh, two versions of routing into version 1 and version 2 let's see how this works let's go with a simple uh, mechanism first so i like how this works and uh, i have one more uh, pc one the switch I need to have two communicating and I need a I need two rows okay so let's define the connection for this okay so uh, let's uh, Alert the IP that let's draw a circuit. This is a network. And this is another network. So uh, 192.168.0.0 network and this is uh, 172.0. 168.0.0 and we'll have one more network here first issue the IP address for this 168.1 and the gateway will be 1.0.2 for this PC is 192.168.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
so uh, please be careful in uh, address and kindly use the uh, label for uh, uh, showing the ip for each pc so that uh, there will not be any confusion on the addresses 0.2 Okay, all PCs is defined. So uh, let's check for uh, working of uh, network. Yes, it is successful. And let's uh, hope this is also successful. Fine. So uh, now you need to define in the earlier cases we have defined the these routers, right? So static route is nothing but one hop distance, right? So the network that is connected with one hop distance is nothing but the static. Uh, we can define the, those networks as static route, uh, and uh, we can uh, it can directly without uh, uh, checking for the routing table and all. So it will uh, directly route the packets to that particular network, right? So that is what static route is. And uh, right now we are going to uh, perform uh, uh, RIP. RIP is nothing but routing information protocol, which is a dynamic routing, right? So we need to define the RIP uh, that is connected networks of this router, right? So RIP that is a uh, you go to your uh, router and uh, you need to uh, check for uh, you need to go to the configuration mode and in the configuration mode you can able to see that RIP RIP is just nothing uh, uh, RIP table. You need to define this router is connected to what are the networks, right? So first one it is connected to it is acting as a default gateway router for 172.168.0. 0 network so please remember here uh, the network id has to be given right you should not define the interface right the respective uh, ip you should, you should you have to define with the network id we, as i already said the first ip will be acting as the network id of the entire network right the entire network block and the last id is nothing but the director broadcast address so in this case of this 172.168.0.0 network this first ip is acting as a uh, network ID, right? And we have this router is also connected with uh, 10 network, right? So 10.0.0.0. This is the first IP of this network, and uh, this is uh, added as uh, part of this uh, router RIP RIP table. Look at there is a command here. Uh, you need to go to configuration mode, and you can you can uh, use your CLI also command line interface, and uh, you can use the command router RIP and uh, it will enter into the RIP mode and you can define network uh, the respective with the respective network ID right uh, so we will try with uh, this uh, so uh, exit here uh, router RIP it will enter onto RIP mode so network you need to define the network ID right so network ID to which it is connected right so it is initially it is acting as a gateway router for 192.168.0.0 network and it is also acting as another interface it is, it is connected with 10.10.0.0 network right so okay, okay. so uh, you can check in your uh, your configuration also uh, this you have two entries so what we have entered through CLI, right? So command line interface, uh, we entered with uh, 192.168.0.0 and uh, it is having connection with 10.0.0. So once you have done with that, uh, you need to uh, go to the settings and you need to save this NVRM, right? So NVRM, right? You need to save and uh, because uh, things what you have done uh, has been saved in the perspective uh, router, right? So it takes some time because uh, RIP is a protocol uh, which, which, which always uh, advertises to the neighboring routers uh, through its routing table, right? Through its routing updates, right? Once two, two, two information, two networks are kinda, uh, connected, two networks are configured in that particular router, this advertisement has to reach this router and this, uh, this advertisement has to reach this router. So it takes every, for every 15 seconds, it advertises the routing updates, right? So uh, that, is, uh, that, is the, that is why it is a dynamic routing protocol. The RIP is a well suited for, uh, it's a, a well suited for uh, small organization networks, right? So uh, let's see how this works. So take this and uh, you choose only IECMP and RIP packets, right? So uh, let's go for uh, uh, communication testing. So from here to here and uh, Packet is trans reaching that switch and it is reaching the router. Yes, communication takes place. Yes. And ICMP packet is a ping command. It is testing with ping command. 
yes the communication works right so once it is done uh, it will go with uh, look at this two packets right it's nothing but the rip packet right it is advertising something right it is advertise for every 15 seconds it is going to uh, generate an uh, uh, update message about about the, about the information what is there in the routing table right look at uh, if you open that particular packet outbound details look at it is nothing but an udp it uses rd udp udp is nothing but user datagram protocol it has a as i already said for short message communication preferably it will go with uh, uh, udp packet right so uh, udp packet and rip version 1 you can see that rip version 1 and next hop information will be available metric will be uh, least cost metric and the network address is 10.0.0.0 right routing packet right version 1 packet so it uses to update so look at uh, it, it updates to the connected interfaces right so uh, once this is done it will this uh, this router this router will generate an uh, rip update and it will be reaching the connected interfaces and keep on transmitting the updates for every 15 seconds right so uh, now uh, let's check for one more uh, one more process so i need to define uh, look at number of hops you have taken right from, uh, from this source to this uh, okay uh, we'll close this uh, uh, simulation with this and uh, we'll do one more simulation with more number of hops because as i already said the routing information protocol takes hop count as a metric so in this case to uh, to reach from this system to this system it takes one two three four five so five number of hops it has to cross right if there is a another another uh, uh, path available let's assume that if there is a another path available for uh, reaching from this source to this destination with uh, with the lesser number of hop count right than this five hop count then it will preferably go with that path right so that is what that is why rip always takes care of always take uh, hop count as a metric right so based on number of hops right it will go with least number of hops that is why it is a it is a it is a it is a, its algorithm works according to that right it takes least number of hops as the path and preferable path and it will go with that path uh, to reach the destination as soon as possible right so this is how this rip works and uh, we'll go with another video with a new concept thank you